Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to our annual service awards. And I'd like to introduce to you um, the VP of HR who makes all this happen for us here at NJIT, and that's Ms. Kay Turner. Good afternoon. I'll say it again. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. That's it. That's what I wanted to hear. It is my pleasure. You know what? Why don't I give everybody an opportunity to grab a chair? I'll do that. Almost there. All righty. So it's my pleasure to welcome you to our 2017 Service Awards Ceremony. We have a very, very full program plan for you today, so I'll keep my remarks uh, incredibly brief. It sounds like I say this every year, but it truly is the most wonderful time of the year for us in HR. And it's my personal favorite time of the year um, because it gives me an opportunity to celebrate with you, my colleagues, um, and a chance for us to thank you for the years of dedicated service that you've provided to the university. So Henry Ford once said, and I'm going to paraphrase, uh, gathering together is a beginning. Keeping together is progress, but working together is success. And so I've had the good fortune of uh, having many talented people come together and working together to support the mission of service to our community and to assist the young men and women who have entrusted their educational aspirations to us. So today, we get the opportunity to pay tribute to those of you who have laid the foundation and contributed to the progress and success of this university for the last 50 years. So on the behalf of a grateful community, I would like to thank all of you who will be recognized today for your many years of service and dedication to NJIT. And for those of you who are about to begin your retirement after commendable service to this university, I wish to thank you and wish you all of the best for the future. So at this time, it is my honor to invite our president, Dr. Joel Broom, to the podium. They even have a script up yep. there. This is impressive. And then here, right? And then you're going to say a little something okay. about that. Leaves the podium, table. They even tell me when to leave the podium. <laughs> and what if I don't want to go? That's your house. You can do whatever you want. My wife says that a little differently. <laughs> Welcome, and it's great to see all of you here today at this very, very important ceremony. It's so when we get an opportunity to thank you and for you to thank your colleagues with whom you work. And uh, as Kay already mentioned, and we stay focused on serving our students. As the semester winds down, we've had a very successful semester. If you could dodge some of the... Um... <laughs> if you dodge some of the um, heavy equipment moving uh, building materials around and learn to walk through that covered walkway from the campus across the street to the Honors College. So this, this semester has been very, very successful. We will see some of you, hopefully many of you, at graduation on Tuesday. I believe we're just a little under 3,000 students graduating from this university, which brings our alumnus count, it's 
many of you in the room included, to over 80,000 people who have graduated from this great university. And while I'm on graduating from this great university, there's always a theme that resonates for me, and that we need more of our students to graduate from this great university. And although many of you in this room, including the provost and our faculty and our advising staff and dean of students and all of those folks have done a marvelous job, we still have, we were talking about this a little earlier this morning, we still have a ways to go in helping our students to graduate. And that's incumbent upon everyone in this room. So if you see a student ever wandering around, or if you see a student who is waiting on a line and needs some help, many of you in this room are very knowledgeable, very expert in how we can help our students and pay attention to them every day they're here on campus. So one of the things I ask you to think about as your rather new or very seasoned, I use the word seasoned employees of the university, is how do we and how do we depend on you and you depend on each other and our students depend upon you to navigate a very, very challenging institution. So the provost tells me we will hit 63% graduation rate, uh, which is outstanding because I think we started counting this in 2020, our vision 2020, at about 57, 40, 57 percent. But when I look at the students coming in year after year, I think we should be at about 75 percent of the students graduating from here. Whether that means we help them academically or we help them financially or we help them socially and emotionally, that is really why we're all here to see our students come, graduate, and return as outstanding alums and giving back to their community and doing the important work that our STEM students can do in each and every one of the communities in which they work and reside. So I just ask you as you uh, get all of your awards and prizes and acknowledgments, all of which are very, very well deserved, Think about why we're here and how we can do more and better for the students of NJIT. So thank you. You can applaud. Come on. So t Turner returns to table, Bloom proceeds. OK. Um, I got to take my glasses off to read the rest of this. Oh, wow. Yeah. So I mentioned him earlier a minute or three ago, and um, we, we all come to work for multiple reasons every day. One, it keeps the lights on in our homes when we're not there, right? We come to work for that. We come, <laughs> it should turn them off if you, um, we come to work to see each other, I believe to help our students. There's all kind of communities here on this campus which are very important. One of the reasons I come to work every day is not only because of all of the people at this table in front of me, but one individual in particular. And uh, we do have wives. It's not, there's no, uh, no romance here. But I do happen to love this guy. And that's Fadi D. Because He's thanking me like I'm going to stop now. <laughs> I know he wants me to stop. Fadi has been here, as you will hear, for over 30 years. And that doesn't include his uh, years as a student. And I am telling you that we speak a lot. And most of the conversation is focused on how we can do better. Um, I believe it's in his DNA in his continuing thought process. And every now and then we get to socialize um, with our wives. And I hear them talking about each of us. Um, mine had, never mind, I won't tell you what my wife says about me. <laughs> but Moira Deke only speaks 
about Fadi and his commitment to this university and to his family. So at this point, to his extended family up here, Fadi, would you please come up? And I, there's a 30-year award here for our provost and senior executive vice president, Fadi Dake. Thank you so much. Thank you, Thank you so much. Uh, so you <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Another gentleman, as I shared the other day, that I know for a very long time, when I first came to NJIT, um, I was an associate vice president for student affairs or academic and student services. I never did a day of work in that field. I knew nothing about it. Um, and. Uh, some of you may recall a woman by the name of Connie Murray, our outstanding dean at the time, who literally, thank you, thank you, who um, literally taught me everything I, I knew, and <laughs> knew was really past tense, um, and learned about the student affairs and, and the students of NJIT. And uh, I had shared earlier, there was a professional association at the time um, called uh, Nostalgic, National Association of Land Grant and Public Universities. I went to those meetings, figured I'd get some professional development and figure out what is this job I have. Um, and I met Charlie Fay there some 20 plus years ago. Um, and Charlie was the leader at the time of the group of Vice Presidents for Student Affairs, very knowledgeable, very in, well informed. And I listened to a lot of things he said during those meetings. It was always a national meeting and then the summer meeting. And uh, I must tell you that uh, I did learn from Charlie Fay. He joined us here four years, five years ago. And Charlie has decided to retire. This will be his uh, last service in higher education. And uh, he shared with us some thoughts the other day about for him and for me, it couldn't have been a better place to finish his professional career in student affairs. So Dr. Fay, please. Thank you. And I'm sorry this last uh, gentleman isn't here. Uh, we, some of us had dinner with him about a week ago and um, this, I'm talking about Charles Dees. I started calling him Chuck when he got here. I think others knew him as Chuck as well, but he wanted to be called Charles Dees. Now, where's Charles Dees folks in the room here? So I expect you, particularly you, Colleen, to report every word I say back to him. Because <laughs> I'm only doing this so that he hears it. Chuck and I, um, I had shared a, about a, three months ago, I got a notice from United Airlines saying you've flown uh, 57 flight segments this past year. 57. I said, wait a minute, that's like once a week because there's 56 of them, right? And 100,000 miles. Um, and uh, almost every one of those miles, and I'm not talking about this is just on the airplane, just United, and very often we fly other planes, was with Chuck Dees. Now, some of you know Chuck as this irascible curmudgeon who could give you a very hard time. He's not. He's one of the most dedicated, hardworking, sweetest guys. But he's got this hard exterior. And I, I love to poke at that hard exterior. And he, you know, he tries to keep it all in. But he has done in his, Colleen, is it 15 years here? 14 years here, thank you. In his 14 years here, we really didn't know much about fundraising at this university. And as you probably know, we're finishing up a $200 million campaign. I think we're at about $184, 85000000 million. I learned a lot about how to ask people for money. Uh, some people I've been referred to in some places as a shakedown artist. I owe all of that to Chuck Dees. So Chuck can't be here. He'll be back on campus today. He'll be back on campus on Monday. Um, tell him he is that irascible curmudgeon uh, that we all know and, and also love. So uh, 
Chuck, congratulations. He'll be back. He'll finish up this June 30th and then uh, spend the rest of his life in shorts. You, you have, you have, every time we would go to Florida, we would be going to Florida sometimes in February. I'd get to the airport, you know, fully clothed. Chuck would show up in shorts. Chuck, what are you, you know, very different kind of person, but a very special gentleman. So those are all my remarks. Um, it says Bloom leaves podium, stands by gift table to hand out retirement plaques. Turner returns to the podium. Come on back, Kay. So at this time, <clears throat> this is the opportunity that we get to celebrate our retirees. <clears throat> so when I call your name, do your thing on the red carpet, it is all for you. <laughs> so... <laughs> So the first person that I will ask to join Dr. Bloom is Hope Adam, Hope Allen. Congratulations, Hope. Yeah, there you go. Yes, yeah, strut. <laughs> I'd like to ask Robert Arms to join us. You're not strutting, Robert. <laughs> followed by uh, Dennis Donahue. <laughs> there you go. Miss Nancy Ying. I like that Queen's wave. Yeah, Nancy. Woo. Like that. Yacy Enos. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> Carl, Carl Jorgensen. Kelly Griffin. I initially asked, I was like, who is Cecilia? <laughs> Frederick Harris. Frederick, no red carpet for you. <laughs> Alexa Jones.
There you go. <laughs> Dr. Norman Loney, who is also a 30-year honoree. Okay, I see that swagger, okay. Woo! None other than a very worthy opponent, Mary Short. <laughs> Followed by William Skowinski, who is also a 25-year honoree. Followed by Alan Strickland, Jr. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> so that little two step, oh, yeah. Let's have a loud and roaring round of applause for our retirees. Thank you for your service. At this time, I'm going to ask Dr. Uh, Donald Sebastian to join me at the podium with the reading of the 10-year honorees. So think back to 2007. Steve Jobs announced the iPhone. Barack Obama announced his candidacy for president. And Peyton Manning announced he was going to Disney World because he just walked off winning the Super Bowl in Miami. But we announced 40 new employees who are now proud to count this as their 10-year anniversary. And it's my pleasure to recognize you. First, Olewola Adegbonmaye. And I practiced that and I still got it wrong. <laughs> Dr. Ken Ahn. Mary Amin. Where are you, Mary? I saw you. I knew you when you was just a student. <laughs> yeah, true enough. True that. <laughs> Peter Bartholomew. Robert Brown. Uh, 
Leanne Cheng. Sasha Corchado. Conrad Corpus. Lisa Easton. It's Bischoff's crew, yeah. <laughs> Greg Fleshman. Stephen Gary. Megan Perms. <laughs> Ann Wong. Fadi Kara. Nikisha Knox. Darlene Lamore. Xenia Lampley. <laughs> Paula Ledesma Gonzalez. Pamela Lewis. <laughs> Yefim Litvon. Lilia Lozarito. <laughs> Ryoko Mathis. <laughs> Aisha McCoy. Stacy Mongelli. <laughs> Brian Pejak.
Maria Perez. Laramie Potts. Ryan Walton. Grace Wong. She left. Patrick Young. It's now my privilege to introduce Dr. Charles Fay, the previously cited VP for Academic Support and Student Affairs, to welcome the 15-year veterans. Charlie, it's all yours. Thank you, my friend. Thank you. Our first 15-year awardee is Mr. Sh Sharon Bradshaw. Next, Dr. Charles Brooks. Next, Miss Susan Bunn. Mrs. Angel Butler. <laughs> Sergeant Carlene Cohen. Ms. Anna Cortina. Ms. Patricia Dam. Mrs. Kathy Dickerson. Dr. Jorge Galawash. <laughs> Dr. David Horntrop. <laughs> Dr. Zafar Iqbal. <laughs> and the last award for 15 years of service, Dr. Richard Janow. <clears throat> Before I leave the podium, I'm going to take a brief moment to say thank you, each and every one of you for sharing with me the last bit of my professional career. You're a wonderful group of folks working with outstanding faculty and students, and I thank you from the bottom of my heart.
Next to the podium, Mr. Ed Bischoff, our Chief Financial Officer. Uh, good afternoon, everybody, and welcome, and congratulations to all of our awardees today. I have the second half of the list of the 15-year recipients. I'm pleased to announce the first person, Mr. Kamal Joshi. <laughs> Dr. Bruno Mantilla. Ms. Yvonne Nunez. <laughs> Yvonne. Here she comes. Ms. Judith Sheft. <laughs> Dr. Laurent Simon. <laughs> Dr. Leonid Tabeskov. Ms. Bhavna Vij. <laughs> Ms. Jessica Velasquez. Ms. Marlene Waltz. <laughs> Mr. Hugo Vascarabai. <laughs> Mrs. Hattie Young. Mr. Su Chul Yoon. That concludes our 15 year recipients. I'd like to now introduce everybody to Ms. Holly Stern, our General Counsel and VP for Legal Affairs. Thank you. My pleasure to announce uh, the recipients of the uh, certificates for 20 years of service. Mrs. Suzanne Berliner Heyman. Dr. Stephen Chen. <laughs> Mrs. Viola Clyburn. Mr. John Egan.
Ms. Isabel Grice. Mr. Syed Hassan. <laughs> Dr. Densho Ivanov. Mrs. Marcel Jackson. <laughs> Mr. Dean Nape. Is Mr. Dean Nape here? <laughs> Ms. Kim Kramer. <laughs> Mr. Wu, Wu John Lee. Dr. James LaPuma. <laughs> Chief Joseph Marsuello. Dr. Sarush Mohebi Forshani. <laughs> Mrs. Shakira Rogers. Dr. Jacob Sevier. <laughs> Mr. Scott Sherman. I'd now like to introduce Mr. Andrew Chris, Vice President for Real Estate Development and Capital Operations, to announce the 25-year uh, honorees. So we have one 20-year recipient that didn't get uh, called up. So Eileen Mitchie.
and now to 25 years, Mrs. Jane Gertner. Mr. Vladimir Gonopolsky. <laughs> Miss Caridad Hernandez. Ms. Babette Hoyle. <laughs> Ms. Monique Payton Hutchinson. Ms. Jacqueline Rock. <laughs> Dr. Kamalesh Sirkar. Dr. Andrew Sohn. And I can't wait to see the tie he's wearing, Mr. Michael Thompson. And last but not least, Mr. Ozzie Williams. And now I'd like to reintroduce our Provost and Senior Executive Vice President, Dr. Fadi Deek. Thank you, Mr. Christ. Good afternoon, everyone. Congratulations to all the honorees, families, and friends. And President Bloom, President Bloom, thank you for your kindness and for the appreciation tone that you have set for this campus. We all, we all thank you for this. These are amazing milestones, 30 years. Dr. Layek Abdel Malik. Soon, soon we'll get him something. <laughs> Ms. Kim Aktab. <laughs> Mr. Frederick Blocker. Dr. John Carpinelli. Ms. Norma Montagu.
Dr. David Perel. Dr. Roshpal Saudi. <laughs> Ms. Denise Taylor. <laughs> Ms. Prima Tiklinski. Mrs. Yvonne Williams. Mr. Timothy Wood. Thirty-five years of service, Dr. Tamara Gund. Forty-five years of service, Dr. Dennis Blackmore. Dr. Manny Perez. And yes, 50 years of service. Dr. Robert Dresnak. Dr. Pat Florio. Congratulations to everyone. Please join me in thanking the Department of Human Resources for putting together this marvelous event for us. And to all the mothers in this room and mothers everywhere else, happy Mother's Day.